This is introductory video about views. Views is a scientific plotting package which is free so you don't need any license for it and it is also available for Windows as well as Mac. Let us get started. Here I am going to show you how to plot a simple graph in views. I am going to paste the link of this home page where you can download this software. I have already downloaded this file and I will show you. So once you open this interface you will get a blank graph. In order to change the properties of graph you are having three windows. One is formatting window, other is properties and the third one is editing. So here you can see this is graph 1 where you can select x axis and y axis. So in order to change let's say I am plotting current on x axis and voltage on v axis. So my x axis label I want to change. So you go to properties and say label as current and then so now my x axis is set as current the y label I want to set as voltage so I will again go to properties voltage you can decide about minimum and maximum of the axis but that we will do later now we need to add values to this graph in order to do that we will click on this option which is data set editor you can also reach the same place by clicking data and then click on editor here we will click on this uh, drop down list and we will create numerical data set because here we are going to do that otherwise we can also use text data set and date and time depending upon our values so here I am taking numerical data set. I will name this data set as let's say this is my x axis. So I will say current and I will enter data as 1. This is just random values I am choosing. 2. I want to add there is a little plus sign over here. 4 and 5. You can also give error in this. So you have so you have systematic error, negative error and positive error. Uh, right now let me just give 0 0.1 as a common value to all the things. So 0 0.1, 0 0.1. In this you can also import the values directly from Excel file. That is the CSV file and plot it. So now this is my current value. Now I want to create one more data set that is for my y axis. I will call it as voltage and we have to create the data set for this. Let's say my voltage is increasing with increase in current. So 2, 4, 6, 8. For x axis I took 5 points so here also I will take 5 points and 12. Let me give uh, some random error values to this. So negative error let's say 0 0.2. This had positive of 0.4. Let us put some random values to it. 1 and this side 1. So it has created two data sets current and voltage. So now we need to create the graph using the data that we just entered. For that click on graph and then click on insert and click add xy. The other way to do it is just to click this symbol where it says plot points with lines and error bars. Click on this and click on its properties where it says x data so now we want to take the x data as current and y data as voltage so it has plotted the graph along with the error that we gave so for voltage we also gave positive as well as negative error and the x data had the 
systematic error all over the place as point 1 so that is visible over here now if we want to change the data set you can just click on edit data that will open up the data that we entered and let's say now I want to remove all the errors that were there so I just want to say 0 0 and just close so you can see only systematic error is there major ticks minor ticks and grid line if we want grid line we can have it so previous one was hidden so if you hide it it will not come if you want to increase the grid lines So this is grid line for x axis similarly we can do the same thing for y axis as well so we can have a grid line for unhide it and on the top now we just need to rescale it so let us change axis for current so we will go to properties for minimum I want it to start from 0 enter and maximum I want to set it to 6 and the same thing for doing it for y axis you click on y axis go to properties minimum is voltage was starting from 2 ending at 12 so we can set it at 0 and maximum at 14 now in order to save it click on export to graphic format you can do it many graphs at a time or single also so right now it also supports vector forms like pdf and bit bitmap forms like png or jpg so right now i will save it as jpg and dpi i will keep it as maximum 300 and export i want to save it in the downloads and i will call it sample graph and save export so after it's done just close it let us check in the downloads so this is our graph that you can now paste anywhere thank you